Hi, I'm Jenna Clark. Thanks for joining me for a beginner's vinyasa flow. Start center of your mat seated. Anything that's comfortable for you. Grounding down through the sit bones. As you sweep palms wide overhead, take an inhale through the nose. Gather thumbs at the heart center. Exhaling through the nose. Take the time to find palms somewhere comfortable to be for just a moment. Close down the eyes, observe the breath. Left palm might come to your heart, right palm at the base of the belly. In developing this breath that we use for our practice, we draw in and out through the nose to develop and maintain heat throughout the body. So as you draw in through the nose, fill the lungs bottom to top. Drawing belly back towards the spine with your exhale, roll shoulders back and down. Take a few moments to set up your breath in and out through the nose. So you'll notice that wave-like sound and shape that takes place within the body. Keep that breath going throughout practice. It is our first priority and intention. As you inhale, sweep palms wide overhead. With your exhale, draw elbows to sides of the rib cage, gaze upward. Take a couple of those here. Inhale to neutralize the spine, tuck tailbone. Exhale, elbows draw the sides of the rib cage. Last one here, inhale, rise. And exhale, elbows bend. Inhale through the nose, reach wide. Right palm will find the left thigh, left palm at the base of the spine to catch twist. Inhale, lengthen through crown of the head. Exhale, twist your gaze up and over left shoulder, bend right elbow. Pause here for a breath or two. Lengthen through crown of the head with your inhale. Twist a little deeper with your exhale. Next inhale, right palm holds on to the left thigh. Left palm reaches up and across the body for right thigh. So arms end up crossed evenly in front of you. Lengthen through crown of the head, inhale. With your exhale, bend through the elbows, draw them towards the navel, hinge forward, working towards a fold. Inhale, tuck tailbone, squeeze your belly in, round through the spine, drawing thighs towards one another, creating space between the shoulder blades on your way back to seated. So deep breath in here. Then exhale, release the hands. Palms will reach wide with an inhale. We'll take opposite side. Left palm to the outside of your right thigh, right fingertips at the base of the spine. Inhale, lengthen through crown of the head, draw belly in. Exhale, twist your gaze up and over right shoulder. Bend left elbow. Couple breaths here. Again, sitting taller with your inhale, exhaling as you twist deeper. Then right palm reaches up and overhead, deep breath in through the nose. Catch your left thigh with right palm. You might switch out positioning of your feet here. It will give different sensation in the hips. Lengthen through crown of the head with an inhale through the nose. Exhale, bend the elbows and hinge forward. Tuck chin to chest, tailbone underneath you. Inhale, round through the spine. 
Exhale, release the hands. Sit tall, inhale, palms sweep wide. And exhale, hands relax. Find the back of your mat. Draw the shins down, parallel to one another. Extend palms forward, coming into your child's pose. So hips will draw back towards your heels. Forehead finds the floor, or if you'd like a support, you might place a book or a prop underneath the forehead. So as you extend fingertips forward, we're resting the chest down, big toes can touch or find some space between them if you're feeling like you could use some more length in your low back. So I'll breathe here for a moment to show you forehead to mat. Take the time to explore here. Walk your hands up and over to the right side of your mat. Left palm stacks on top of right. Look underneath your left, your right shoulder with an inhale. Draw your hips up and over your left heel with your exhale. Pause for a breath or two here. Walk your hands back through center with your next inhale, coming up and over that left side. Right palm stacks on top of left, deep breath in, look underneath left shoulder. Send hips over right heel with your exhale, lengthen right side body. Another breath or two here. Turn palms to center. Take an inhale to press forward into hands and knees. Fingertips are super wide here. We'll take a moment to align. Two fists between the knees will give you hips width distance apart. And as you walk your palms back out in front of you, you want your hips stacked over the knees. Middle fingers draw in to touch at center. Shoulders stack over the wrists. Fingertips are wide. That will give you shoulder width distance apart. Pivoting on palm, the heels of the palms, rotate your fingertips forward. So index fingers point to top of your mat, elbows bend towards back of your mat, giving you some buoyancy through your joints. Take an inhale to drop the belly button low, draw your gaze high, inhale. Exhale to round through the spine, tuck chin to chest. Take a few of those here. This is called your cat cow. So as you drop the belly, bend the elbows gently. And exhale to round. Inhale, drop the belly low for your cow, look up. Press down through your fingertips as they're wide. Exhale for your cat, rounding the spine, tuck chin to chest. Take a couple more at your own pace, following your breath. Inhale, look up. And exhale to round. One more here. Take an inhale to neutralize the spine. Walk your palms forward. We'll find a modified version of your plank pose. Straight line to, from top of your head down to backs of the knees. So you're drawing your hips forward. Feeling that engagement through the core, belly squeezes in, index fingers rotated forward, elbows point to back of your mat with an inhale. We're coming all the way down to the belly with your exhale. Squeeze your elbows by sides of the rib cage. Draw your belly in. Come down slow through your exhale. Chin tucks at top of your mat. No weight within the palms here. 
You're squeezing shoulder blades together, pressing pelvis through the floor, glutes are soft as you inhale and peel up your heart. Gaze is forward, this is called your cobra pose. Palms might float by the sides. You're welcome to draw your toes to hover with your next breath in. Then exhale, melt back down through the floor. Palms will slide back up underneath your shoulders. Inhale through hands and knees. Tuck chin to chest. Fingertips are still nice and wide. Hips to heels with your exhale, child's pose. Inhale to shift forward once again, hands and knees. Toes tuck at back of your mat. With your exhale, hips rise high, the head hangs heavy for your downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Feet are hips width distance apart. Your hands are shoulder width distance apart. Cycle through the knees, gaze up underneath one shoulder, then opposite. Fingertips remain wide. With your next inhale, rise to toes, shift forward to your plank position. And again, you can walk your palms forward. You're welcome to your knees here. Take an inhale to shift forward into big toes. Once again, we'll find the floor with your exhale. Inhale, untuck the toes, peel up the heart, cobra pose again. Exhale, pause. You might reach back or float the toes. Another inhale here. And exhale, soften. Palms slide up underneath the shoulders. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale forward, hands and knees. Tuck the toes, we'll find downward facing dog. Exhale, hips arrive high. Shake the head yes and no here. And take your time. Cycle through the knees. Observe the body's response to this posture as it will change over the course of practice. As you inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward between the thumbs. Exhale, you'll step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Hang loose here, not turn towards you to give you another angle here. So heads loose, toes at top of your mat. They're nice and wide. Gentle bend through the knees, your head's loose. You can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Then release the hands, take your time, bend your knees a whole lot, tuck chin to chest, slowly roll this up to standing. Shoulders will come back and down at the top with your exhale. Palms sweep wide once again, inhale, rise up. Gaze between the thumbs, reach this up and back, exhale, thumbs find the heart center. Couple of breaths here. Slight bend through the knees, toes are wide. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, elbows bend the sides of the ribcage. Open across the collarbones. Gentle back bend. Inhale, reach high, neutralize the spine. With your exhale, we'll sit back into your chair. Bend through your knees, hips draw back. Weight shifts into your heels. So as your toes are wide here, big toes can touch or can put some space between them. Inhale at the top, gazing forward, shoulders soften. Exhale, sweep the palms by the sides. Chest becomes parallel with the floor as you reach back. Exhale. Inhale, rise to stand, reach high. You might hook your thumbs together, gentle back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. 
Palms circle up and overhead. Fingertips draw towards your wrist. Let's get that shoulder and wrist stretch. Then bend through the knees. We'll do this a few more times. Sit back into your chair, inhale. Gaze is forward, shoulder soften. Inhale at the top. Exhale, sweep the palms by the sides, hover chest over the thighs, gaze over the toes, reach back. Inhale, rise to stand, hook your thumbs together. Opening through the heart as you gaze upward. Exhale, hinge at your hips, heart leads and fold. Fingertips circle overhead. Inhale, chair pose, sit back. One more time through the sequence. Exhale, pause. Inhale at the top. Exhale, sweep palms by the sides, hover chest over the thighs, gaze over the toes. Option to challenge your balance here with an extra breath. Inhale, drift forward into your toes, lift your heels. Exhale, hips lower towards your heels. Feet to floor, toes are wide, rise to stand, inhale. Hook your thumbs. Exhale, hinge at your hips, heart leads and fold, exhale. Heads loose here. Cycle through your knees, take a couple of breaths. We'll halfway lift with your inhale, long spine. Exhale as you fold. From top of your mat, palms plant, step feet together, plank position once again. Shoulders are over wrists, fingertips are wide. Press back through your heels. Feel the engagement through the whole body. Pressing down through fingertips, gentle bend through the elbows, core engaged, and again, knees available. Untuck the toes. Gaze forward, straight line, top of the head, down to the knees. Inhale here. With your exhale, we're going to come down halfway this time. Elbows squeeze sides of the ribcage, lining up with your shoulders. Exhale. From here, you're welcome back to the floor, just like last time. Peel up the heart for your cobra pose once again. Inhale. We'll take a couple of these here. Exhale, release. With this next one, you can do the same thing over again, cobra pose, or press through fingertips, tuck toes back of your mat, draw the body up and through, upward facing dog, inhale. With your exhale, press through fingertips, tuck toes, hips arrive high, squeeze your belly in, exhale, back to downward facing dog. Cycle through your knees to the top. Observe the differences in the body. So that sequence of postures that we keep repeating, that is your vinyasa flow. Cycle through the knees here. Then gaze between your thumbs. Inhale. Feet together, top of your mat. Fold, exhale. Half lift, lengthen long spine, inhale. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, inhale, reach out, rise up, back to stand. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Half lift, inhale, long spine parallel with the floor. Exhale, plant palms, step it back, plank position, knees available. Shift forward into big toes. You might find the shins. Gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees. Try to hold in that 90 degree angle. Belly is available for your inhale with your cobra or upward facing dog. Straighten the arms, inhale, rise. Hips arrive high, exhale, down dog. Right heel high with your inhale. 
Keep your hips squared here, toes rotated down towards the floor. So you can check it by looking back at your right pinky toe. Make sure it's pointing down towards the floor versus off to the side or otherwise. Inhale at the top. Exhale, squeeze your right knee in towards the nose. Plant the foot between the thumbs. Right knee stacks over right ankle. Deep breath in here. Seal your back foot to 45 degrees. So right heel lines up with the inside arch of your left foot. Inhale, we'll rise up. Hips are square to the top corners of your mat. Coming to your first warrior. Deep breath in at the top here. Pause through your exhale. From first warrior, right knee stacked over right ankle, moving out towards pinky toe. Back foot is sealed. You're squeezing into left glute here. Inhale at the top with tailbone tucked. Exhale, sweep palms by the sides. Hover chest over your right thigh, gaze over the toes. Long line, top of the head, down through left foot. Pause here for a full breath. Inhale, rise up, first warrior. Tuck tailbone, squeeze into left glute. Right hip drawing back, left hip forward. An excellent alignment tool here. Palms find the hips, fingertips point to top corners of your mat. If you're pointing off to the left, then take a step over with your right foot. Bend the knee deeper. You can also take a step in with your left foot. So realign, reset, and then reach up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, elbows open the sides of the rib cage. Look up. Inhale, reach wide. Sweep palms by the sides. Chest hovers over right thigh. Exhale, gaze over the toes. Inhale, reach high. First warrior. Exhale, elbows bend. Look up. Inhale, neutral spine, first warrior. Exhale, frame the right toes. Step them back to join left, returning to your plank position. Again, knees available, index fingers rotated forward. Shift into your big toes, inhale. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees. Squeeze to sides of the rib cage. Pause the bottom of that breath. You might just be on your way to the belly, totally fine. Inhale to peel up the heart for your, either your cobra or your upward facing dog. Exhale, hips arrive high, back to down dog. Left heel high with your inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeeze left knee in towards the nose. Plant the foot between the palms, top of your mat. Seal your right foot, back of your mat, 45 degrees. So hips squared, short sides of your mat. Inhale, we'll rise up for your first warrior here. Inhale at the top, gaze between the thumbs. Exhale, sweep the palms by the sides, hover chest over your left thigh, gaze over the toe. Inhale, rise up, first warrior once again. Check your adjustments if you'd like. Exhale, elbows bend, look up. Once more, inhale, reach wide. Chest parallel with floor, exhale. And last time, inhale, rise. Exhale, elbows bend. Neutral spine, inhale, rise. Frame your left toes, back to plank position, exhale. Index fingers rotated forward. Press down through finger prints. Inhale, shift into big toes, knees can come down. Exhale, elbows bend. Coming down halfway for what's called your chaturanga. With your inhale, peel up the heart, cobra or upward facing dog. 
Exhale, hips are up high, downward facing dog. Cycle through your knees here. So we've set up all of the foundational poses for your full sun salutation. You might hear that phrase somewhere else in practice. It's a very common sequence that you'll see in many types of classes. So putting all that we've done together, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze between the thumbs. Exhale, feet together, top of your mat, fold. Half lift, long spine, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach wide. Gaze between the thumb. Exhale, hinge at your hips, dive down and fold. Inhale, half lift. Look over the top line of your mat like you found something interesting on the floor. Exhale to fold, plant your palms shoulder width apart, feet together, back of your mat plank position. Knees are available, untuck the toes, gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees, maybe on your way to the belly. Inhale, peel up the heart for cobra or upward facing dog. Hips arrive high, downward facing dog. Right heel high with your inhale. Hips square, exhale, knee to nose, plant the foot between the palms, seal your left foot. Rise up with your inhale. Hips square, exhale, frame your right toes, step them back silently to join left, plank pose. Shift forward with your inhale, knees available. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees. Heart lifts with your inhale, cobra or up dog. Hips arrive high, downward facing dog. Left heel high with your inhale. Knee to nose, plant the foot between the thumbs, seal your right foot 45 degrees. Left knee bent, right leg long, inhale reach, first warrior. Exhale, frame left toes, take it back. Shift forward with your inhale, knees available. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees or on your way to the belly. Heart lifts, cobra or upward facing dog. And hips arrive high, downward facing dog. Completing your first sun salutation. Cycle through the knees here. Observe the breath, the body's response. Check in with how this pose may be changing. Then bend your knees, gaze between the thumbs. Exhale, feet together, top of your mat and fold. So I'll come in a different direction to give you another angle. Half lift with your inhale, long spine. Gazing through the floor, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach up with your inhale. Exhale, thumbs find the heart center. Inhale, reach out and up, sit back into your chair. Hands cross at bent knees, exhale. So you're at the top of your mat, so I'll return there. Actually, I'll stay. Keeping your toes wide, tailbone tucked, weight shifted back into your heels. Take an inhale to rise into the toes, lift through heart center, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands cross at bent knees, heels back to floor. Take a couple more of those at your own pace. Inhale to rise into toes, straighten the legs. 
reaching wide, exhale, hands cross at bent knees. And we'll inhale, reach wide for your chair. Exhale and fold. Half lift with your inhale, long spine. Exhale, step back to your plank position, fingertips wide. Flow or no flow, always up to you. You can skip this portion and go straight to your downward facing dog anytime you like. Inhale, send your right heel high. Toes rotated towards the floor. Hips remain square. With your exhale, we'll stack the hips. Bend your right knee, draw your right heel towards left glute. Opening through right quad. Circle through your right knee. And opening through ball and socket joint. Articulate your movement. Go one direction, then opposite. Moving with your breath. And you can modify this by taking your left shin down if you'd like. Then right toes rotate down towards the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant the foot between the palms. Seal your left foot parallel with the back of your mat. So that angle becomes 90 degrees instead of 45 like last time. With your inhale, cartwheel left palm up, back, and around. Coming into your second warrior. Exhale, pause. Right knee stacked over right ankle, left leg long. You're still grounded through pinky toes here. Self-adjustment through the hips. Palms pressed to either side. Look down at the fingertips. If your left hand is higher than the right, that's where you can find your adjustment. Line up those fingertips, stack the joints. Then reach back out wide. Flip your right palm over as you extend over right toes. Inhale. Exhale, reach right fingertips up and back towards the back of your mat, staying in the legs. Left palm can remain across the low back or down the left leg. Gaze up and through right elbow. Squeeze your heels together here, activating through the legs, feeling the power of this pose from ground up. Inhale, drift back through center, through that second warrior. Right fingertips reach over right toes. Exhale, right forearm finds right thigh. Left fingertips up and over. Exhale. Pause here. Right palm may press to the right inner thigh, turning torso more open to the ceiling. Inhale, return back to your second warrior. Gaze through your right middle finger. Exhale, reach high as you straighten the legs. Ten toes forward. Inhale at the top. We'll take second warrior on opposite side. Exhale, left toes. Point towards back of your mat. Left knee stacks over left ankle. Open out wide. Take that self-adjustment as needed. Palms at the hips. Fingertips forward. If right hand is higher than left, you're always welcome to realign. Look for that stretch through right inner thigh here, then reach back out. Flip left palm around, inhale, lengthen over left toes. Exhale, reach up and back as you squeeze heels together. Lengthen left side body. Breath here, extending through fingertips. If you want more, right palm may hover parallel with left. Inhale, back through your second warrior. Reach over your left toes. Left forearm finds left thigh. Exhale, right fingertips extend up and over. Gaze up underneath, right elbow. Deep breath in, exhale, left palm may float parallel to right. Inhale, return back to straight legs. Ten toes forward with your inhale. Exhale, fold. Heads loose here, tuck chin to chest. 
Take a moment to find your breath again. Observe the heart rate. Hands can be anywhere that feels natural. You might walk them past your heels. Bend through the elbows, getting that deeper space between the shoulder blades. Then release the hands. Half lift with an inhale, long spine. Shift your weight back into your heels. Your belly is engaged. Exhale, fold. Walk your palms to frame your right toes. Top of your mat once again. Tuck left toes. Inhale, gaze forward. Feet together, top of your mat. Fold, exhale. Slowly roll your way up to standing once again. Shoulders backing down at the top. Palms will reach wide with an inhale through the nose. Gaze between the thumbs, gentle back bend at the top of the breath. Exhale, hinge at the hips, dive down and fold. Half lift with your inhale, long spine. Plant palms, step back to your plank position. Fingertips wide, big toes to touch. And again, moving through your vinyasa flow here or you're welcome to skip it. Meet me in downward facing dog. So you may inhale, shift forward. Knees or no knees, elbows bend 90 degrees, exhale. Heart lifts with your inhale. And hips arrive high, downward facing dog. Cycle through the knees to the top. Send right heel high, deep breath in. Exhale, right knee to nose, plant the foot between the palms, seal left foot, 90 degrees. Cartwheel up, back and around, second warrior, once again, inhale. Exhale, reach up and back, we've been here before, right fingertips to back of your mat. Inhale, back through center. Reach over right toes, exhale, right forearm to right thigh, left fingertips up and over. And twist, torso open towards the ceiling. Roll your left hip up and back behind you. Right hips rolling forward underneath you. Inhale, return second warrior. Exhale, reach up and back, reversed warrior. Inhale, circle palms to frame the right toes. Tuck your left toes, gaze forward. Exhale, we'll take off with your left heel. Shift forward, standing split, exhale. Your head's heavy, you're looking through your right kneecap here. Left toes rotated towards the floor. Inhale at the top, exhale, feet together, fold. Come to this side of the mat, give you the left side. Half lift with your inhale, exhale to fold, plant palms, step back to your place position. Press back through the heels, shift forward with your inhale, exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees. Heart lifts with your inhale, and hips arrive high, downward facing dog, exhale. Left heel high with your inhale. Exhale, stack the hip, find some movement. One way and then the other. Left toes rotate down with an inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, plant the left palm between the thumbs, seal your right foot. Second warrior as you inhale and arrive. Exhale, look through left middle finger. Flip left palm, extend long with an inhale. Exhale, reach this up and back, lengthen left side body. Inhale, return second warrior. Exhale, left palm finds left forearm, right fingertips up and over. Inhale, reach wide. 
Exhale, frame your left toes. Tuck right toes. So you're in this deep runner's lunge here, preparing to take off with right heel. Shift forward, exhale, right heel high. Head hangs loose. Right toes rotated towards the floor, inhale. Feet together, fold, exhale. Take your time, wiggle your way back up to standing. Shoulders are back and down at the top, exhale. Inhale, reach out, reach wide. Gaze between the thumbs, gentle back bend. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Half lift with an inhale, long spine. Exhale, plant palms, flow or no flow, step back to plank position. So again, you can skip your vinyasa if you'd like, meet me in down dog. With your inhale, shift forward, exhale, elbows bent. Heart lifts with your inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, hips arrive high, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right heel high. Exhale, knee to nose, plant the foot between the palms. We'll stay on the ball of the left foot this time. Walk your feet about hips width distance apart, like your feet are on train tracks here. Press back through the left heel, inhale, rise up. Right knee stacks over right ankle. Deep breath in here, exhale, pause. Press back through your left heel, inhale. Option to modify, take your left shin down instead. Inhale at the top, exhale, we'll find a twist. Palms will press to the heart center, left elbow outside of your right thigh. Squeezing thumbs to the heart. Take an inhale with your exhale, gaze deeper over right shoulder. Really nice. With your inhale, we'll unwind to second warrior. We've been there before. So tuck and seal left foot as needed if you're modified. Open your hips to the side, palms will reach wide. Exhale. Inhale, flip right palm, extend over right toes. Exhale, reverse. Straighten your right leg here. Inhale, reach. Squeeze into left glute, sending it higher than right with your exhale. Bump back through the hips, reach long over right toes with an inhale. Exhale to your triangle, nice hamstring stretch. Hands are at 12 and 6 o'clock. So as you're here, hips and shoulders stack, gentle squeeze of left glute. Gentle bend through the knees, pretty important here. Making sure we're not hyperextending the legs. They're remaining active. Excuse me. As you inhale, rise back up, second warrior. Exhale, you'll carve your left palm inside of your right foot. Tuck your left toes. Right palm reaches high. Left shin can come down. Untuck your toes here. Deep inhale at the top. With your exhale, you'll step your right foot back to join left for your side plank. So you can be on your left shin, it might angle across your mat, step right foot back to join. Left foot. So you're either here or both feet back of your mat, side plank. Left shoulder stacked over left wrist. Your fingertips are pressing through the floor. Inhale. Exhale, plank pose. You choose flow or no flow. Inhale here. Exhale, moving through your flow or downward facing dog. I'll give you a couple breaths to catch up if you're taking that flow. 
Then send your left heel high with your inhale. We'll turn back around here. Deep breath in here. With your exhale, squeeze your left knee in towards your left tricep. Plant the foot down. Ball of the right foot this time. Feet are hips width distance apart. You can also take right shin here. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Tailbone tucked, reach high. Belly squeezed in. Inhale, prep for your twist, palms to the heart center. Right elbow outside of your left thigh, exhale. Pause for a breath or two here. Squeeze into the glutes, press through the top of your right foot. As you inhale, tuck and seal right toes if you're modified. So you're either here or you're in that full crescent lunge with right toes tucked. Seal your right foot, open out wide, second warrior. Pause with your exhale. Flip left palm, extend long over left toes, inhale. Exhale, reach up and back, lengthen left side body. Straighten left leg, reach high with an inhale. Squeeze into right glute, bump back with your exhale, opening that left side of your rib cage. Hinge at the hips, reach long over left toes, inhale. Exhale, hands are at 12 and 6 o'clock, triangle pose. So hips and shoulders stacked, your toes are soft. Squeeze into right glute, gaze through right palm. You're rolling that right hip up, back and behind you. Left hip is pressing down towards the floor, forward and underneath you. So if I were to just adjust you with hands, it would look something like this. Opening wide. Take an inhale, return back to your second warrior. So bend the left knee, palms are wide. With your exhale, right palm on the inside of your left foot. Catching your twist, so your right toes will tuck or you can even heel toe the foot forward first, making it easier on your transition. Tuck right toes, right palm circles around inside of your left foot. Exhale, twist. Now squeeze into right glute, press back through that right heel if you're in this full expression. And again, right shin can come down. Right shoulder to left inner thigh here, inhale. Exhale, we'll step back, side plank. Right shin might angle across your mat. Left foot steps back. Right shoulder over right wrist or feet together back of your mat. Inhale at the top. Exhale, return to plank, both palms on the mat. Flow or no flow, I'll meet you in down dog. Take a couple of breaths there. And find your child's pose when you're ready. Shift forward, coming back to the knees, hips arrive back towards the heels. Exhale, lower down. So from your child's pose, draw forward hands and knees with an inhale, fingertips wide. Cross ankles, we'll find our way back to a seated position. Find feet planted at top of your mat about hips width distance apart. Scoot your way forward as you need to. Find spinal undulations here. Squeeze the shoulders back and down with your inhales. You draw your chest between the thighs. Sit up tall with your inhale. Exhale to round through the spine, tuck chin to chest, tailbone underneath you. Take a couple more of those here. Sitting tall with your inhale, exhaling to round. And one more, inhale, roll forward. Exhale. 
Take one more here, and if you're exhale this time, release the hands and slowly roll down to your back. Take your feet just behind the glutes. Palms will be reaching wide to a T. Tuck your tailbone, find connection between spine and floor here. We'll extend your left leg long down center of the mat, deep breath in. Exhale, twist right knee across the body towards the left. Gaze up and over your right shoulder with your exhale. Make sure both shoulders stay connected with the floor. Reach through your full wingspan. And inhale, flex through right toes. Draw your right knee in towards the chest, out and around towards your right armpit. It's all through an inhale. With your exhale, find your right ankle to the top of your left thigh. Plant down through your left foot. Figure four through the legs. So you control the intensity here. Tuck your tailbone once again. Flex through those right toes. Flare your right knee open and away from the body to get that right hip stretch. Pause here for a few breaths. Some options here for getting deeper into that right hip. You might pick up your left heel, draw the thighs in towards the chest with your exhale, flexing through left toes as well. If you'd still like some more sensation through right hip. Next variation is grab your right foot with your left hand and your right knee with your right hand. Extend left leg long. Getting deep into the hips. Gazing skyward. Few breaths here. And releasing from wherever you are, left leg will draw long. Right foot stacks on top of left at left bottom corner of your mat. So scoot your feet over. Press the palms by the hips. Scoot them up and over to the right a couple of inches. Reach your hands up and overhead. Grab your right wrist with your left hand towards that left corner of your mat. Inhale to get long through the spine. Exhale, press through your right heel and open through right side body as hips draw to the right. You're welcome to pause here as long as you like. And always feel free to pause things and rewind it back. With your next inhale, we'll unwind to catch that left side. Right foot comes down center line of your mat. Palms return wide to a T. Return your spine to neutral, so you might have to scoot those hips back to the left an inch or two. Plant your left foot on the inside of your right leg. Deep inhale here. Exhale, twist across the body, left knee to right side of your mat. Keep your left shoulder grounded. You might gaze into your left palm, allowing gravity to do some of the work for you during this twist. That left knee carrying over to the right, flex through the toes. With your next inhale, circle left knee in towards the chest, out and around towards your left armpit, deep breath in. Returning spine to neutral. Exhale, left ankle. We'll find the top of your right thigh just above the knee. Plant down through your right foot. It might take you a moment just to kind of scoot it back towards you. Figure four through the legs. Return spine to pressing down through the floor. Left knee flares open and away from the body with your exhale. Flex through the toes. And again, you have options on this side as well. You might pick up your right heel, draw the thighs closer to you with an exhale. You can also grab onto that left shin, 
catching bottom of the foot and top of the thigh as right leg extends long. Feel into the left hip. Stay with your breath. You might gently rock side to side, feeling some different things as well. And extend your left leg long. If right is not already, right foot goes to right bottom corner of your mat. Left foot stacks on top. Press the palms by the sides. Draw your hips up and over to the left. So take that little mini scoop. Fingertips extend up and over towards right top corner of your mat. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Deep breath in. Press down through the heels. Try to open that whole left side of your body. Couple breaths here. Really building some space between the ribs on that left side. And then slowly release. Relax through the muscles. Release the hands. Unwind the feet. Draw the spine to neutral. Feet plant down, hips width apart. Draw to center of your mat. Palms press down by the sides. Fingertips are wide here. Take an inhale. You'll draw the fingertips up and overhead as you peel up your hips from the floor for your bridge. Gaze at the ceiling. You don't want to move your neck around here, so maybe watch first and then try it. Exhale to draw hips back down towards the floor, fingertips by the sides. Take about three to five more of those. Inhaling through the nose to reach up and overhead, feeling that gentle massage across the shoulders. Exhale, reach palms by the sides, hips return to floor. Match with your breath, stay calm, move slow. You might close down the eyes as we get closer to sealing our practice. We'll take one more here. This time, press your palms by the sides. We'll pause at this, the very top. Fingertips wide, inhale, hips rise. Knees are stacked over the ankles, doing that nice back bend. Shoulders draw closer together underneath you for more support. Your feet might walk slightly wider as you stack knees over ankles. Another inhale at the top. With your exhale, hips arrive back down towards the floor. Take your time getting there. Flex through your toes. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give them a gentle squeeze. Keep your head heavy on your mat for now. Realigning the spine. And we'll extend heels high. Flex toes towards the face. Draw belly in towards the spine. Continuing that engagement through the core. Another inhale at the top. We'll slowly release. Coming into our final resting pose. Extend the legs long to bottom corners of your mat. Palms rest by the sides, eyes to close. Continuing through your breath. Take a few moments here just to lay on your mat. So the challenge with this final posture is to keep the mind present out of your past and future thought. And the breath allows us to do that by embodying presence. Just pause here as long as you like. Take as much time as you need. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.